back to my garden my name is shari and i run carry cultivated a page all about house plants mental health and travel and today i'm going to be doing a repotting good luck to me i wanted to talk a little bit about how do you even know when your plants need to be repotted and i have some really good examples let's get into the video remember to like comment and subscribe for more house plant and fun carb cultivated video so let's get into it i'm gonna start with this fern because this has been the most neglected plant maybe in my entire collection let me bring you in if you remember this fern from 30 days of house plants you know what's about to happen and it ain't pretty it's really not pretty look at this Are you kidding me? And it has just circled and grown, circled and grown, circled and grown. I do not even know how I'm going to get it out of this spot. I did not think this through. Look at these roots. Oh my Lord. That is insane. But let's figure it out together. So what I'm thinking, and y'all can let me know what you would do. I'm going to cut the pot because I do want to keep the roots. A lot of people are into like cutting roots off of plants. Why? No, I'm not doing that because I don't want to put it into too much shop. I'm just going to cut the pot and count my loss. Now this was obviously a case of the roots being way too big for the soil and that's why we need to repot this plant. Why? Because when the roots fill up the plant and there's not enough substrate, then the plants don't get the nutrients they would need from the soil, they don't hold on to water long enough, and they tend to dry out and fizzle out and die. Thankfully this is a really hardy plant so it didn't do that and I also had it in a cash spot so water would sit at the bottom of the pot and it would get that water. However, in most instances, you're going to have a hole at the bottom of the pot and the plant isn't going to get the nutrients it needs. This is pure root. Oh my God. I'm sweating. I'm stressed. Felt like we were getting somewhere. I know you can't see this, but like currently, the plastic is like stuck and I am contemplating how much of the plastic am I going to just leave there because it can clearly grow very well with that plastic in there. like surgery this is surgery and you know who i have to blame my ah myself nobody but me i am actually really impressed that i was able to get out all of the plastic i did not anticipate that i'm gonna go with this one oh it's a lot bigger and i would not recommend this for most of your arrows i'm not team put it in a pot that's huge and let the plant grow into that pot i think that's a very easy recipe for overwatering and the root rot because you're not letting enough air get to the, the plants if you're not careful you would have to be very careful for that setup to work so usually i would only go with a plant with a pot that is maybe two inches or four inches bigger but this this is gonna be the forever home. I kind of just grabbed this from the lawn and it already had rocks in the bottom. I'm not a fan of rocks in the bottom of a pot either, but I do need this to not fall down. Now you guys know what potting mitts I use. I have a video and I'm gonna link it right here, somewhere on the screen to my potting mitts. Um, that's when I'm being really bougie. 
today I'm just doing perlite nature mix and slow release fertilizer that's it nothing too fancy I'm getting soil everywhere and that's okay I'm not a perfect person ow now with every single repot when you repot your plant you have to soak it in water water has to go all the way through the bottom and that's how you know that like you're good to go the reason being is a lot of shock for a plant to move from one location to the next and when you give it the water you're like it's okay you'll be fine here you have a home here settle in <laughs> that's the vibe so yeah this is it all right sorry plant number two my really sad philodendron palmanii i am determined in 2024 to make this plant beautiful again it used to be such a center and now it is so ugly you can see how it's crawling and it is just the ugliest thing in the world um, but i'm determined to let it be cute and here's the game plan first let's look at the roots always assess the situation Please, no centipedes. I hate using gloves, so I'm hopeful that there are no centipedes in here. I don't think there are, though, because the soil is too dry. So, Plumanias are crawlers, just like Gloriosum. So, that's why it's growing, coming across like that. And when I cut it, I want to cut between the nodes so that any growth points like that can become a new plant. So that already is one that's going to happen for sure. And this one here, we can see where it's coming up. So I am going to be chopping between these two lines, as you can see, not on a line, not on a node. A node is the bump where the plant can start a new shoot. So when you chop between, I'm going to activate that node and I'll have a new growth point. So I'm just going to cut right here for the first chop. Boom. I already feel so much happier. <laughs> so much lighter knowing that that chop was made and this plant is getting a fresh start. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I popped that root because it was getting crazy. It's getting a little ridiculous. I'm going to keep as many roots on this one as possible so the plant can grow bigger leaves faster. So it doesn't have to start. The first leaf is probably going to be small, but the second one will probably size up pretty quickly. I'm not the gardener that's like cleaning their shares in between cuts and stuff. Be that person. Don't don't be me. I wish I was that gardener, but I never will be. That is just excessive to me. <laughs> I've never had a problem. Like they're like, oh, well, tra you'll transfer diseases and blah blah blah. Child, what's gonna happen is gonna happen. I do enough preventative spraying. I think that I won't transfer anything that's like super crazy. All right, so we have two chunks with amazing roots. Let's rest them in this pot right here. And we still have the top cut, okay? Oh, <gasps> centipede. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jesus. That could have ended so badly. It's a centipede. The sting on centipedes is out of this world. It is one of the most painful things I've ever felt in my life. Granted, the one that stung me, she had a bunch of babies in the pot and she was massive. She was angry and she stung me bad. This is why you need to wear gloves, guys. I can't wear them because like, I'm so sensitive to touch. It feels disgusting and it makes me want to cry but i'm really careful especially when i'm repotting a plant that i haven't 
checked on in years. Like, I've not recorded this in years. So, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. It was only by God's grace that that did not sting me. So, how do we treat soil that has bugs and stuff in it, centipedes? A lot of people would throw it out. Um, not in this economy for me personally. I am going to do um, some diatomaceous on top of the soil. So with this plant, we have our second reason you might want to repot, and that is because something's wrong with the soil. The soil right now is depleted of nutrients at this stage because it's been in this pot for so long. And I also wanted to change the pot because the plant is not happy in this pot. It's not flourishing. It's not growing. It's not retaining enough, enough moisture. So it's going to be much happier in this nursery pot. And I will be much happier knowing that I've treated all of the little bugs and pests in the soil. I've opted for a wider pot just because it is a crawler, so it will grow. Uh, it will grow long and above the pot. So this is the pot we're gonna use. So that's what we have, and as it grows, it will stretch. The roots are going to anchor down and I'll be able to chop that piece that I was just looking at and let it go over the pot. I really need to do better with this plant because this was such a lovely gift and when it was beautiful, it was really beautiful. So this is the year that this plant is going to glow up. Mark my words. Because this was such a lovely gift and when it was beautiful, it was really beautiful. So this is the year that this plant is going to glow up mark my words yeah now we water and we'll be done so this is a third reason that you might want to repot your plant to change the substrate so that the soil can feed your plant everything should be working towards your plant and towards your lifestyle so if you are not a, a plant grower that fertilizes every single week every single watering set your plant up for success with some good soil all right guys that is it for the repotting today thank you so much for watching i had a great time i usually am doing these in complete silence <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you like this video and if you want more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And whatever you do today, remember to cultivate joy. Bye!